Hello everybody, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to use the AI text and voice generation toolkit. This video is specifically going to be covering how to use the text-to-speech component. If you guys do not have Azure Speech set up yet, then I have a video linked in the description. and You guys can go watch that to figure out how to get it set up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click in my project and click Create Scene. I'm going to name this Text-to-Speech, just like that. And now I'm going to create a new empty game object. I'm going to call it text to speech manager. Then I'm going to reset its transform here. I'm going to add a component. First, I'm going to add an audio, an audio source. And then I'm going to add Azure text to speech component. And now I'm going to create a new C sharp script. And I'm going to call this text to speech manager. I'm going to go ahead and open that up in Visual Studio here. And I'm going to leave it blank for now. Go back into Unity. And I'm going to attach it to my text to speech manager. Now I got to do some scene setup. So, first thing I'm going to do. Let's create a new UI, Canvas. I'm going to call it Canvas. Inside of it, I'm going to create a new UI legacy input field. I'm going to call this user input. If you guys want, you guys can choose the UI um, input field TextMess Pro, but I'm just going to use this so I don't have to input the, import the TextMess Pro essentials. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my UI here and change the scale of this to be something like 512 by 512 maybe that looks like it'll do we'll move it up by something like 64 units and now I'm going to go ahead and go into my placeholder these two text components by placeholder and text I'm going to scale up the text to be something like let's go with 36 and now I'm going to create a new UI Legacy button. If you guys want, you guys can do a button text much pro. I'm just going to do a button. I'm going to call this get audio button. I'm going to go ahead and move it down to somewhere about negative 152. I mean 156. No, 256. And scale it up to be something like 128 by 512. I'm going to go ahead and change the size of the text inside the button to be, let's go with 100 units big. I'm going to call this get audio. I'm going to call, I'm going to rename the text to get audio. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go open up my text to speech manager script. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the start and update functions since we won't be needing those and get rid of these two using tags. The first thing I'm going to do here is write serialize field private text. I'm going to call it text. Okay, so what the serialize field thing does is it will show the variable in the inspector. So if I go right here, it shows it in the inspector. Pub public does the same thing. But public also allows other scripts to change it, and then I might accidentally change it, and it would give me, and it might give me an error. So I like to keep it serialized field private. I'm gonna also add another one for serialized field private button. I'm gonna call this get audio button. And I'm gonna rename my text to user input text. Now I'm going to add. Another private, um, this time it's going to be Azure text-to-speech. I'm going to call this text-to-speech. I'm also going to add a private audio clip, no audio source, my bad. Audio source. Now on the awake function, I'm going to say text-to-speech equals get component. Get component. Text-to-speech. No, Azure text to speech. And then I'm going to set audio source 
So equal get component audio source. Now I'm going to go back into Unity. I'm going to drag and drop my get audio button to my get audio button variable. I'm going to open up my user input and drag and drop the text to my user input. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back into my script here. Now on awake, I'm also going to write get audio button dot on click dot add listener. And I'm going to add listener. It's going to be called get audio. So now I'm going to create a new private void, get audio. And inside of this, I'm going to write audio source dot clip equals text to speech dot Paul Azure open parenthesis user input new user input text dot text. But then also I'm going to have to await this because it may take the, um, it's going to take the AI some time for it to respond. So we're going to put this await keyword, which will mean it's not going to freeze the, um, freeze the game while it's waiting for the response. It's just going to wait right here. This function is going to wait until it gets the response and then it's going to do the rest. Um, now I'm going to write audio source stop play. Then I'm going to go minimize unity here and go into my game view and click the play button. Now if I enter this text right here as hello world and then click get audio. Hello world. And there you have it. That's how to use the text to speech component for the AI text and voice generation toolkit.